Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are in the training yard of Eversource Energy in Berlin, Connecticut. We will watch Eversource senior engineer Tim Callahan demonstrate how Eversource Energy is using a triple single recloser for single phase reclosing. This allows Eversource to reduce outage times and duration. This video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Hi, Tim Callahan from Eversource Standards Department here. The second part of this video, we're going to talk about the triple single, but we're going to talk specifically about the control. So, the second feature which really distinguishes the Cooper triple single is actually right here. It's this row of the different phases to select. So that's where you're going to be selecting which phase or pole you're going to be opening and closing independently. Remember, these reclosers are used in radial applications outside of loop schemes. Press the lamp test button before performing any tests on the front panel. Pressing the lamp test button, as this can be seen, will illuminate all the LEDs. This indicates that the control is working fine. What we have here is the actual Cooper Triple Signal Form 6 control panel. Again, as noted, it looks very much like the regular Form 6 control panel, except for the phase A, B, C, select. Looking at the panel going around, you can see the navigation keys, the menu key, enter key. We also have the metering key, reset targets, events, the lamp test, which we covered, settings, operations counter, alarms and the change key which is critical for us to select the different phases a b and c another important function of the cooper triple single form 6 control is the supervisory off button when we want to ensure that we have local control what we would do is hit the change button and then the supervisory off button when the light goes on we now know we have local control another important feature is the non-reclosing key which is shown here. The non-reclosing key basically applies to all three reclosers when active and disables any automatic reclosing operation. To operate the non-reclosing key, we hit change and then we hit non-reclose. There you can see the non-reclose indicator has gone on. The hotline tag switch. This feature is designed for worker safety during live line work. It changes the protective trip setting to a faster trip setting and blocks reclosing. Hotline tag applies to all three reclosers when active. Move the toggle switch to the on position to enable and off to disable. The LED should light once the hotline tag is enabled. Note, when hotline tag is applied locally it can only be removed locally and when applied remotely can only be removed remotely what is shown here is the eversource energy material standard mat r-3 what is denoted here is the cooper triple single nova recloser this particular material page shows the different operating voltages for New Hampshire, Connecticut Mass, and also the max continuous current rating, the interrupting rating, the PT ratio, and the different stock codes shown here for the corresponding columns previously mentioned. Okay, there we have the Cooper triple single form six recloser control. That's the conclusion of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is Tim Callahan from Eversource Energy from the Standards Department. A little reminder, if you're out on the job, you're unsure or you don't know, please stop the job and ask. Thank you and have a safe day. Thank you very much for that, Tim. And now you have seen our TND How video on the controls of a triple single recloser. Our next video in this series will show the installation and commissioning of a triple single recloser.
And we once again want to thank Burns and McDonald for their sponsorship of this T&D Howe series of videos on the advanced distribution grid technology of a triple single recloser. I am Jim Ducart with T&D Howe Videos. Thank you as always for watching.